Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is Pradeep and you're watching Vlog of Note. So, you know, I know, I'm obsessed with processors. And that's why when we had some rumors about the MediaTek Dimensity 2000, we had to make a video about it. Here are the top three advantages. Let's get started. So let me set some context for those of you who are not familiar with smartphone processors. First of all, you have processors like the Qualcomm Snapdragon 898 and the Exynos 2200. All of these are fabricated on nodes. The smaller the node represented in nanometer, the better it is for the processor because it's more powerful and more power efficient. Therefore, 5 nanometer is better than 7 nanometer. Secondly, not all nanometers are created equal. For example, TSMC's 5 nanometer is actually better than Samsung's 5 nanometer. That's why the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 is actually better than the Samsung Exynos 2100, both processors on 5 nanometer nodes from this year. Thirdly, if you had to take a wild guess, who would you say TSMC's top customers are? Well, I'll tell you, the answer is Apple, AMD, and now MediaTek. MediaTek, by the way, is on track to double their chip shipments in 2021 as opposed to 2020. All of this information at the link in the description below, right next to that like button. Now, moving on, what are the three major advantages of the new MediaTek Dimensity 2000? First of all, it's supposed to be the world's first processor on TSMC's 4 nanometer node. Now, why is this important? Well, that's because it will be more power efficient and powerful when you compare it to the exact same sort of 4 nanometer node from Samsung on which are going to be based the Qualcomm Snapdragon 898 from next year and the Exynos 2200 from next year. Secondly, we have to talk about cost. Now, this is not something that we experience directly as consumers, but smartphone makers like Xiaomi and Vivo actually have to buy chipsets or SOCs from chip makers like Qualcomm and MediaTek. When MediaTek is going to sell it to them at a reduced price, that means you and me will be able to pick up a flagship grade phone at a reduced price. Thirdly, when you talk about an SOC, that's a system on a chip, it's made up of broadly two parts. That's a CPU or a central processing unit and a GPU or a graphical processing unit. When it comes to CPU performance, the MediaTek Dimensity 2000 will be on par with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 898 and the Exynos 2200 from next year. All of these three major advantages make it a pretty compelling buy. However, when we talk about GPU, here's a quick take for you. The Exynos 2200 is going to come with AMD MRDNA2 graphics and while it will be a significant improvement over previous Exynos, I'm not too sure it's going to beat Apple's A15, at least when it comes to throttling performance. Obviously, it's going to be better than the Qualcomm Snapdragon 898 and the MediaTek Dimensity 2000, but if you consider the fact that the MediaTek Dimensity 2000 is supposed to be more power efficient and it's going to be cheaper to us end consumers, then I think the MediaTek Dimensity 2000 is one processor that you should watch out for in 2022. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. As always, please go over to YouTube, subscribe to the Blog of Note channel, ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video and I will see you guys in the next episode.